in this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 26, where I'll answer the question, what do we owe the government? Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 26 says, The scribes and the chief priests sought to lay hands on him that very hour, for they perceived that he had told this parable against them. But they feared the people, so they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be sincere that they might catch him in something he said so as to deliver him up to the authority and jurisdiction of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you speak and teach rightly and show no partiality, but truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful for us to give tribute to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a denarius, whose likeness and inscription does it have? They said, Caesar's. And he said to them, Then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to catch him in what he said. But marveling at his answer, they became silent. In this situation, the scribes, the chief priests, they're trying to catch Jesus. They're trying to cause him trouble because he said a parable that was inflammatory against them. So they're trying to catch him. They're trying to trip him up. And they send some spies in to ask him a question, a question that's really tricky. And here's the question. Should we pay taxes to Caesar or not? Because anybody in Jesus' day among the people of Israel would recognize that Caesar doesn't deserve any money. He's an oppressive force against them. So all of the people around would probably be thinking to themselves, we definitely don't want to pay taxes to Caesar. So if Jesus says, go ahead and give money to Caesar, all the people will be against him. But if he says, don't pay your taxes, then they can get him in trouble with the authorities. But Jesus knows all of this. And he answers their question in such a beautiful way that it helps us to understand the things that we owe to the government and to other authorities that exist over us. With this in mind, here are three thoughts from Luke chapter 20, verses 19 through 26. Thought number one, Caesar's things. Jesus says, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. And the idea is simple. Caesar, or the government, is do some things because of the authority inherent in their position. So if you want to know whether or not I think you should pay your taxes, yes, pay your taxes. Definitely don't skip them and think that there's some religious reason why you don't have to do it. That is not the case, I promise. You need to pay your taxes. Because Jesus says, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. And the government has authority to tax the people in order to administer justice. That's important for us to know. That the government has authority given to them by God. All authority on earth is rooted in God's authority over all creation. Keep that in mind the next time you want to start some sort of rebellion against the government. Thought number two, God's things. You render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, but you render to God the things that are God's. Now, Caesar is owed taxes, but Caesar is not owed worship. And one of the things that Caesar was forcing people to do was worship him. So the Jews have sort of an out in this. They were not forced to worship Caesar. But if you weren't Jewish, then a lot of people didn't have that benefit. So if Caesar is demanding worship, then he is demanding something that is not his to demand. He is demanding something that he doesn't have any right to. So when Caesar demands worship, he is sinning. And if you worshiped Caesar, then you were sinning against God. Because worship is something that is only rightly offered up to God. You render unto Caesar the things that are his, granted to him by the authority that is inherent in his position, and you render unto God the things that are God's, the things that are inherent to his position as creator over all the earth. Thought number three, under authority. We need to recognize that we are all under authority and that all authority is rooted in God's authority over creation. You need to understand this. And when you start to wrap your head around it, then you can start to more easily deal with questions like, should I pay taxes to the government or not? Should I obey what the government is telling me to do? Because sometimes the answer is going to be no. 
If the government is telling you to do something that is counter to what God has told you, then the answer is no. But if the government is telling you to do something that is within their sphere of authority to tell you to do, then you must do it. And doing so is obedience to God. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Luke chapters 19 and 20. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the comments, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.